In this video we will look at the bid-ask spread which is commonly misunderstood or overlooked by investors despite its fundamental simplicity. Now, for our perspective let's just look at the big ideas. In essence the bid-ask spread, or as it's sometimes known the bid-offer spread, is simply the difference in the price that you can buy or sell a stock. When you visit the website of a stockbroker or an exchange you will see two prices. For example consider this stock. What this is saying is that the exchange is asking for a price of 34p to buy the shares and that investors have bids or limit orders at 33 pence. The 1p difference between the bid and ask prices is taken by the brokers and market makers. This is important. Why is that? It costs you money. Every single time you trade, money is being siphoned away in the bid-ask spread. Novice investors and traders ignore these costs and therefore trade far too much. So stop trading so much. In addition, the bid-ask spread is a measure of liquidity. So very illiquid stocks, that's stocks that don't trade very much, have a very wide bid-ask spread so the brokers can make more money. Whereas a stock like General Electric, which trades in huge volumes, will almost always have an extremely small spread between the bid and ask prices because it's turning over so much volume, so the brokers are making huge amounts of money on that volume. So if you're trading very small stocks, or rather you should be investing in very small stocks, you'll find that the costs of transacting, i.e. buying and selling, buying and selling, very small stocks can be very expensive because the spreads are so large. And when you get right down to like, bankruptcy stocks um, and stocks with extremely low micro-cap market values, then you'll find extremely high bid ask spreads and this stuff we've been talking about becomes extremely important. And just as a final point we'll look at the um, bid ask spread as a percentage as a common way that it's expressed and is useful for when you're calculating your costs, your returns, portfolio turnover, all those sort of things. The, this percentage value can be quite useful. So to find the bid ask spread as a percentage you're just taking the ask price, subtracting the bid price, and dividing by the ask price, and timesing by 100. It's very similar to the formula for a percentage change. So that's the fundamentals of the bid-ask spread. So in future, when you're buying and selling shares, make sure that you consider this. It is very expensive and will hurt your returns if you trade too much. So hopefully you've learned something, and thank you for watching.